looks yummy. <laughs> Okay, sir. I mean, he's living his little life over here. Grabs the cup, spills more water. Look at how amazing this looks. Take your bucket. So yummy. Yummy, yummy. Whenever they won't eat, I guarantee you they will drink this smoothie. the button. morning guys it's november 1st and i don't know about you guys but christmas mode is activated on november 1st like i am so ready for christmas i'm really feeling in the holiday spirit this year so i'm about to get this workout in because i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have been slacking on the workouts i haven't been slacking on getting my steps in no matter how cold it's been i have been bundling myself up bundling up kylo taking sugar and we've been going on our walk every single day and that's been so good for my mental health as well i'm actually drinking my colon broom right now because this also has been making me feel really really good it just helps me feel lighter especially yesterday after halloween i'm like okay i need to drink my colon broom Y'all know I always stress the importance of just overall having a healthy but balanced diet. And if you do wanna lose weight, number one important thing is to watch your calories and be in a calorie deficit. But if you are on a weight loss journey, this really does help a lot. Like I said, just make you feel so much lighter and support that gut health. So it's made of 95% psyllium husk, which is known to improve your gut health. It also just helps you like clear out your waste, use the bathroom regularly. This has been really helping me feel a lot lighter. I've also noticed that it really does help reduce my hunger and make me feel more satiated. And 
I think that is due to the fact that it is so high in fiber. It really does support healthy digestion. So I've been feeling amazing on this and not to mention it tastes incredible. This is the strawberry flavor and I don't even taste like I'm taking a fiber supplement. If you guys are interested in Colon Broom, I do have a discount code. You guys can use my code Mesedo10 to get 10% off. So a huge shout out to Colon Broom for sponsoring today's vlog. All right, let's sit down and chat for a little bit before I get to my workout. <laughs> kind of mentioned this on my Instagram, but I really want to sort of, I need chapstick, hold on. I say chapstick, but I really have been loving like lip oils and lip treatments lately. Anyways, <laughs> but I mentioned this on my Instagram every single year for the winter, I just tend to get very like down, unmotivated. So I really want to try just like changing my mindset this winter because I think that's going to be everything. Just sort of almost romanticizing winter a little bit, looking at winter as a good reset, a time to calm things down, reset, recharge, set your goals for the new year, have this like calming, hibernation period before summer and spring starts again. And I feel like summer and spring is very like hustle mode. Just, I feel like that mindset change is going to be everything this winter. That's what I'm trying to do because I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to get into a major funk and just get like kind of depressed in the winter. And I really don't want that this year. I told you guys I was on my refeed and my refeed was only supposed to be two weeks long. Y'all, why did my refeed end up being like a good three and a half weeks? Actually almost four weeks. No, three and a half. Because I started like right around uh, Thanksgiving. And I told myself that today, November 1st, the day after Halloween, I was like, time to get back on that deficit, get back and crush your weight loss goals. Because I would really like to lose another five to 10 pounds by Christmas to stay on track with my goals, you know, and not fall off. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I've been feeling super unmotivated just in every aspect in life, but specifically when it comes to my deficit for some reason, it's crazy because it's almost like a switch just flipped because I'm telling you just like a month and a half ago, I was so motivated to be on my deficit for literally like 10 months straight. Like that motivation lasted like forever. Like I was just on it, you know? And I don't know, for some reason, I just all of a sudden don't feel motivated to be on my deficit anymore. I barely wanted to take a refeed. Like taking a break from being on a deficit is very important for your hormones. It's a good mental reset, but I had to like kind of force myself to do it because I didn't even want to. Like I was just so motivated to be on my deficit. But I don't know if I feel like ever since the weather got colder, it's like this switch just flipped and my motivation has just been completely killed. So I've been kind of low key dreading my deficit. Like today's my first day like back on a good, good deficit. I've, I've actually been back on a deficit for a, a few days here and there for the past week, but I haven't been like on it and committed, you know, like I have in the past 10 months or so. So I told myself today, like enough is enough with like the little back and forth. Oh, doing one a deficit one day and like maintenance the next day. It is time November 1st for me to get back on that deficit for real and be very dedicated to it. But yeah, there is that lack of motivation. I'm not gonna lie, but I am telling myself that this is where discipline needs to kick in and I gotta get on it because I would love to be in the 130s by December, by the end of December. Let me actually show you guys. What's really cool is I like setting these small little weight loss goals because they really help me like, so it doesn't feel so overwhelming. Like I feel like when you have 20, 40, 50, 60 pounds to lose, it just seems so far away. Whereas if you just set these little like five to 10 pound goals, it's so much more achievable. So I wrote this down on my phone and I just have like these little small goals and it feels so much more achievable when I look at it this way. And that also helps with the motivation too because it doesn't feel like you have this huge, large mountain to climb, you know what I mean? But that's why today I was like, uh-uh, Amy, you are putting on a workout outfit. You're gonna go downstairs, lift some weights, get on that treadmill, get some extra steps in, and get to that deficit today. So I'm excited to start back on my deficit, see how much more weight I can lose by the end of the year, because then I would like to hit my goal weight a good three-ish months into the new year. So that would be exciting. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me on this journey. Also, for those of you who aren't a part of my wellness circle, it's an online free community that I have. It's completely free, but it's really good because we help to keep each other accountable. And like I said, when you feel unmotivated, a lot of times you can feel alone, especially in the winter. And it's just great to have like, this little community that's so tight knit right at my fingertips on my phone. So I absolutely love y'all from my wellness circle. So I will leave that link down below if you guys are interested in joining. I'm definitely going to be talking about this on there as well. Not the most aesthetic home gym, as y'all can see, but it gets the job done and I get to keep my heavy weights down here. Extremely heavy 
heavy hand I can only do one set of it but I do always try to push myself to do one set and I always do it at the beginning when I have the most energy but I forgot today but we're still gonna try to kill it it's extremely heavy like I said I can only pick it up once it's a one and done but it's still good to just give your like muscles that burst all right let's see if I can do this because usually I have to do it at the beginning of my workout and I just already lift that so I'm kind of kind of gassed right now if there's one thing about working out you may not feel like doing it but afterwards you ain't never gonna regret it <laughs> like you're never gonna regret a workout morning y'all I look rough so please don't judge but I just had to show you guys Kylo has been loving his learning tower and it's honestly been so helpful because he wants to do everything with me okay like everything like I just made my matcha which is delicious by the way I've been putting cinnamon in the warmer can you mix that up for mama good job so I was making my matcha and he wanted to stir the honey and the matcha powder and then I poured my milk and he wanted to stir my milk and he wants to do everything. So I was like, okay, let me get his learning tower, set up a little station for him. I have his suction bowl over here that's suctioned mm. to the thing. You still kind of need to watch him so he doesn't flip it over, but he's kind of at that age now where he listens for the most part and I can communicate with him. You want to pour more? So I'm like, let me set something up for him. So I have some cocoa powder in the cupboard. So I put some cocoa powder with a little bit of water. There's just like a tiny bit of water in there. And then there was just a teeny bit of milk left over. Like, you know how the milk, when it runs from the sides, it just like drips to the bottom and there's just like a tiny bit left over. There was a tiny bit of milk left over. So I'm like, let me give it to him. And he's like enjoying pouring it in his little bowl and mixing it up and seeing how the color of the milk is mixing with the brown of the cocoa, right? You're making chocolate milk. <laughs> so he's just like having fun over there. And it's just, I'm realizing like at this age, they're really just loving like activities and like learning things, you know? They like to just see things change when they mix different things and stir different things. So it's just, the learning tower has been really, really helpful. You want a little bit more? Uh-oh, in the bowl. And sometimes there's messes. <laughs> The other day I was making pico de gallo and I was chopping and he was so clingy and like wanted me to hold him. He's just been really clingy with his teething. Um, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get him on his learning tower. Let me get him a bowl. I got him a bowl with water and I put a little bit of oats, like just buy some cheap oats from like the dollar store. I think even the dollar store sells oats now. And just put like a little bit. I'm not saying to waste food and put a lot, but just put like a little bit. It doesn't hurt. And he loved it. I gave him a whisk. He was whisking oats with water like hilarious but he loved it you know he was just like there doing his thing and um yeah he just had so much fun and like i said because he's um almost 18 months he'll be 18 months in six days so because he's kind of at that age he knows what i'm saying so if i say to him like i did have to watch him because i was using one of my ceramic bowls not his little suction bowl and i was just saying to him like keep it on the table like don't lift it and he tried to lift it once but i said keep it on the table and he like he understands what i'm saying and he listens for the most part you know but i definitely do recommend getting a suction bowl that helps like i was so worried he would break the bowl it keeps him busy as well but the reason why i look so rough is because daylight savings was today and honestly thank god for daylight savings in a way because at 6 40 today it was light out and i was like oh my god thank you that's actually how i knew that it was daylight savings i was like there's no way it's 6 40 right now and the light is out normally it would be like 7 40 and the light would slowly be coming out but kylo woke up at 5 30 this morning which makes sense honestly because um he normally wakes up at 6 30 so 5 30 Pour it in your bowl. Good job. I mean, he's living his little life over here. I really be coming on camera looking like this, guys. The other day I was thinking, oh my God, I miss getting glam. 
and it's not that I don't like glam anymore like I haven't worn makeup in so long and it's not that I don't like makeup it's just like I haven't gone anywhere what's wrong what do you need baby only a little bit because then this is gonna start to get real real messy <laughs> No, 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 pour it in the in the bowl, okay? Can we pour it in the bowl? Yeah, so I was saying, it's not that I don't love makeup anymore. I love makeup, but like, I don't have anywhere to wear it to. And it's like, I'm not the type of girl to like, I know some people will wear makeup just to go to the grocery store and stuff. Me, I'm too lazy for all that. I just miss wearing makeup and getting glam. So I'm just like, maybe I'll just film a reel just to get ready. Cause I really don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> Can you mix it with your spoon? Okay, sir, he's at that age. No. Okay, fine. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. You have a right to set your boundaries and tell people no. <laughs> Guys, he is at that age where if I tell him no. to do. Okay. Well, I think, think we heard you the first few times. No. Think, think we think we got it. He's at that age where if I tell him to do something, he does not like when I tell him to do something. He'll like go, mm -mm, or tell me no. no, or tell me no. Hi. No. 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 He's actually been talking so much now. He says, these are the words he says clearly, like super clear. Hi, bye, mama, dada. No, as you guys heard, and bull and baby. And then he says a whole bunch of other words, but just not clearly. Like he says smart. Y'all are gonna laugh, but I made a list on my phone. No, but the reason why I made a list is because at his last appointment, I think that was a 16 month appointment, um, his doctor was like, okay, so at the next appointment, which is gonna be at his 18 month checkup, um, we usually look for around that time if he can say 20 words. And I was like, I straight up, like my, like the word vomit came out of my mouth. I was like, 20 words, that's a lot of words for 18 months. And she's like, yeah, that's like, you know, the milestone that we look for. I'm like, okay, sis, like pump the brakes. Like it just seemed like a lot of words, but he does say 20 words and it doesn't have to be clearly. She did tell me that. They don't need to be like 20 clear words. They just need to be like words with intention. And he knows that like, that's the word he's saying type of thing. But it still seems like a lot, like I've Googled it and I have personally read that it is very normal if at this age they just say around five. So 20 just seems like a lot, honestly. I don't think that's like necessary, I don't know. I feel like these doctors put a lot of, but I will say, I feel like the doctors start, I was telling Steph this, come up sugar. I think the, the doctors start like the milestones, like I think they go a little bit ahead just to stay on top of things and just to like be ahead of things because of, um, yeah, I think they just do it just to stay ahead of things because I personally feel like that's just a bit extra. Guys, he spilled the cup. I looked away for a second. He spilled the water all over his shirt and I was like, okay, no problem. Oh my God, he's grabbing the cup again. At this point, I'm just letting it happen. So he spilled the cup all over his shirt and I was like, no biggie. I'll just put his shirt in the dryer. Like we don't need to do a full outfit change for that. I'll just put his shirt in the dryer, get it dry. He, I thought the cup was empty. So I grabbed the cloth. He starts cleaning, cleaning with me. It stops. Instead of cleaning, he decides to stomp in the water. And honestly, I couldn't even be mad at that point. We just started both laughing. He starts laughing and splashing in the water. Baby! Then, then he grabs the cup again, but I thought it was empty. Grabs the cup, spills more water. It spills more water and I'm like, and so now his whole, like the whole outfit, I thought we could spend a Sunday in our PJs. The whole outfit is just, is scrapped now. We're just gonna get a new outfit, right Kylo? Start fresh. Yeah, please clean it up.
one thing I've learned when it comes to cooking is season at every step, not just the chicken or not just the whole soup. Season the chicken, season the veggies, like season at every point. this is looking y'all now it is time to add the chicken in I just chopped it all up then I had some fresh cilantro in the fridge that looks yummy mm. this looks delicious you guys look at how amazing this looks so I just need to give it a good stir because those bouillon cubes are still hanging on. This looks so good. So yummy. I already gave it a good little taste test and it's so, so, so good. What's up guys? I'm not gonna lie, it has been a few days. Um, I've been extremely busy. I literally have three videos that I'm working on for the main channel editing this vlog currently just super busy y'all know that november december christmas season is just wild but i'm definitely not complaining i'm very grateful to be busy but kylo yesterday woke up with a fever and it was so sad to see him like that and then it hit me that like that was his first time like actually being sick i'm just seeing like my face looks so much lighter than my body um that was like his first time being sick he was sick when he was five months old but it really wasn't that bad and only lasted like half a day to like a day or so um, but yesterday he really was like not good. So we actually ended up going to the doctors. Um, luckily my doctor is also a walk-in clinic. So you can just walk in without an appointment and thank God no one was there. So we were able to get in quickly. I actually thought that he had an ear infection because he's been holding his ears at night. I can see him on the monitor while he's sleeping. And I'm like, why is he holding his ears? So I was thinking maybe it's just for comfort, but then he kept doing it. And then yesterday while he had his fever, he had his hand over his ear. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take him to the doctor. Cause if he has an ear infection, we need to see, you know, and he really was like, not feeling good like nothing was making him smile nothing was distracting him even putting on miss rachel on the tv was like not working so i'm like okay so like around 10 a.m went to the doctors and he ended up not having an ear infection she did say it was a little bit red but it looked like he just was had like a regular virus like he was just sick so luckily he's feeling so much better today but yesterday he barely would eat and it made me realize i want to share this recipe for you guys when your baby or toddler or kids won't eat, whether they're teething, they're just picky, whatever, whenever they won't eat, I guarantee you they will drink this smoothie. Like this smoothie almost always works and Kylo thankfully drank this yesterday. I was having such a hard time getting calories in him yesterday and I obviously really wanted him to eat so that his body could fight whatever it was fighting. So let me share with you guys this smoothie. It's so simple and obviously you can add like multiple different things in it, but if you just wanna keep it simple, here it is. First thing you're gonna add in is some yogurt. I love the Greek yogurt because it's higher in protein, but they were sold out, so I'm just using this one. This one is 100% grass-fed, and I absolutely love the ingredients in it. So, so, so simple. There's nothing added into it, no sugar or anything. So since there's no sugar in this yogurt, you definitely want to sweeten it up. And I like to do that with fruits. So I have half of a banana in there, which is super ripe. And then adding in some peanut butter. This is what's going to add extra calories to make it super filling, especially if your baby is not eating anything else, you wanna make this filling. A nice scoop of peanut butter and two dates, some grass-fed whole milk. I'm just doing a splash because I don't wanna make the smoothie too runny and some chia seeds. This is going to make it even more filling and add more calories. I don't like to add too much though, because I don't wanna make the smoothie too like grainy, if that makes sense. And there you have it, a nice little banana date smoothie. And I love this little straw cup. I do kind of monitor him while he's using it because it is not leak proof but I love that it's silicone and not plastic. And honestly, he's at that age where he's really 
realizing that he has to be gentle with his utensils and not throw things around. So this is kind of good practice for him to realize, hey, if you tip it over, it will spill and kind of like cause an effect and consequence of things. And yeah, I do monitor him heavily when he has this though. So. I will link this little cup for you guys. I actually got mine from Indigo if you're Canadian, but if you're um, in the US, you can easily get this on Amazon. But I will say if you're Canadian, there are a lot more affordable options available on Amazon too. So I will link some similar options.